Okay. Um. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you all for joining me on this live program today. I am still always your best friend, your motivational speaker, Charles Patrick. Uh, I want to use this medium to apologize to my fans, my friends, my way wishers all over the world, and to those who like to follow my live videos for not coming on air. For a while now um it's not actually my wish not to come and share my god-given knowledge with you but due to some circumstances beyond my control so due to some technical problems I have not been live here for a while but thank God today I am here to share my God given knowledge with you hope you will enjoy as you watch me as you follow me thank you I can already see people watching thank you for watching me here yeah. today I am sharing a topic with you. How do you face your giant? How do you face your giant? First of all, you have to know what your giant is. You have to discover what is your giant. You have to know the capacity and the ability of your giant before you will know how to face your giant on my last live video I treated a topic with you just before my birthday what do you think of yourself on this live video I explained to you that what you think of yourself matters matters so much what you think about yourself matters so much and determines what comes into your life determines what you achieve determines what you have whatever you're going to achieve in life Practically depends on what you think about yourself. Your capacity to face your problems in life practically depends on what you think about yourself, who you think you are, plays a vital role on your success in life. Don't forget that on this platform, I share to you my experiences about life I impact you knowledge of about how to tackle life issues now when you reconcile my first my last episode of last video on my last episode of uh, my last coverage the live coverage if you reconcile it with today's own you will see something unique you will see the link what do you think about yourself actually it matters a lot of who you think you are 
what you think about yourself what you think you can do and what you think you are capable of doing who you think you are matters so much Directly in your life, whatever you think of yourself works out in your life. If you think you are a doll, you become a doll. I've said this before. You have to be careful of what you think about yourself in order to face life properly. In order to be able to ride on with the affairs of your life. In order to be able to tackle various problems. There is no limit or age limit. Maybe everybody has problem. Everybody has one want or the other. Whatever level you find yourself, there must be something you're still looking onto. There must be something you still want. Then, getting to where you want to be depends on whom you think you are. You have to think right of yourself. You have to think right of your ability. You have to believe in yourself. You have to build a great self-confidence behind you in order to face life squarely and accurately. On your daily basis, on your day-to-day -day runs, I mean running your day-to-day -day affairs, what do you think about yourself? You have to mean well to yourself. You have to think good of yourself. You have to believe on your own ability, on your own God-given ability. You have to know that these things work. You have to know that you can do it. You have to believe you can do it before you can actually do it. Today, on, on today's topic, how do you face your giant? links to what you think of yourself how do you see your giant first do you see your giant as if he's more than you do you see your giant as if you cannot face him or you cannot face it what do you make up totally of your giant and what do you think about your own ability of facing your giant? Very vital. Now, we have to define your giant first. You have to get to know what is your giant first before you can face your giant squarely. Because you know, before you know how to face your giant, you have to get a definition, a concise definition of what your giant is. On my own definition, I'll tell you that giant is whatever that seems greater than you. Any problem in your life that seems greater than you. Anything that have initial look of being more than you. Anything that wants to overweigh you, anything that wants to weigh you out, anything that wants to pull you off the spot, anything that wants to pull you off the track is your giant. When I say problems, some problems to us may be a giant and some may not be a giant. When you have a problem that you know that you can equally solve, something you will say, I am more than, I can, I know, this is not a problem. That, that, that is not a giant. Giants are those problems that looks to you as if you cannot face them. How do you see them? And how do you face them? Now, when you find out your giant and you see your giant staring you at your face, that means your giant standing before you Staring you eyeball to eyeball. The next step to overcome your 
your giant is your mindset what is in your mind that moment are you that kind of person that when problem comes you go on an anxiety when problem comes fear becomes your refuge when problem comes anxiety all kinds of ne negative thoughts becomes your your hideout you develop all kinds of sicknesses because you you are facing a kind a, 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 a one problem or the other have you asked yourself a question all your life all those days that you have been facing one problem or the other and you become anxious you, you covered yourself with an anxiety you 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 how do i put it you, you keep thinking all sorts of negative things have you asked yourself this question have all this anxiety solved this problem some even go into drinking alcoholism some go on doing one thing or the other to distract themselves do you think that distracting yourself is the best option on facing your giant or your problem no 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 distracting yourself is not the best option the only option you have is to stand strong believe in yourself and face your giant squarely with a very right and good mental positive mental attitude the right thing to do when you're facing your giant is for you to stand strong believe in yourself first of all how big your problem may be doesn't matter how thick it may look doesn't matter how consuming it may look doesn't matter whatever that is your problem stand firm in your heart and know that this problem has an expiring date if you can be able to tell yourself this that this particular problem i'm seeing now this giant has an expiring date and i have to overcome this giant i believe in myself i believe in my ability and i trust myself because i have overcome such of this many kind of this giant before i have overcome them i know what i did because there is no magic or any magical power that will help you overcome your giant. The only magic is in your mindset, in your heart. It depends on the way you believe in yourself, the way you think about yourself. The major, you start defeating your giant when you have that good mindset, that positive mental attitude about yourself, that you will overcome this giant no matter what. That is when victory starts coming victory doesn't lies on your cell phone calling people for help crying shouting oh what am i going to do i am finished dwelling on self-pity telling people your problems for them to have pity on you you're seeking your failure this is not the way out the way out is the moment you're facing your giant you wear your giant you study your giant you know how it weighs and you face your giant squarely by trusting and believing in yourself that you can do it your ability alone can see you through your simple belief that can see you through whatever your giant might be the only thing you have to do is this believe in yourself count that particular giant Count that big and mount mountainous problem facing you right now. Count it as something that has already been in past. Something you have overcome. Don't think it's something you are going to overcome. People with positive mental attitude don't ever think I'm going to overcome. They think I have overcome. Whatever that is facing them, they believe they are, they are already overcome. They have been overcome, overcome already. That's how people with me, good and right mental attitude think. How do you think when you're faced with a giant? When you're faced with all sorts of problems? You can have, your giant can be anything. And can come in any form. 
Your giants can be in a twin, triplet. It can be at any number. You can count it on any number. They all can face you at once. Now, you ask yourself sometimes, why me? Why me, God? Yes, God is away. He knows it's you. And he knows you're facing it. And he allows you to face it. Because he has already given you the ability to overcome. He looks not onto who you are. Or what you are. Your righteousness doesn't matter. The number of times you go to church doesn't matter. This is a free natural gift of God to every human being. The ability to stand firm and face whatever that is facing you. Whatever that comes to your life. Nothing is too big for you to overcome. And nothing is too small for you to face with a positive mental attitude. You have to face your life issues squarely with your over accumulated abilities. Because a lot of us, our abilities has been many years untapped. How do you build this mindset that I'm talking about? When problem comes, instead of you thinking of alcohol to distract yourself, or thinking of moving away to distract yourself, or doing one thing or the other, or smoking to distract yourself, no, you think of your own ability of overcoming this problem. You think. You make use of your head. First of all, you avoid every negative think, thinking. Everything, anything that is negative, you avoid thinking about it. When you focus this particular giant, you're seeing gi this giant in view. First of all, convince yourself that you're going to overcome this giant in no time. With help of no one. Believe in yourself that no one is going to help you. This particular giant is the one that I have already overcome. This is how I approach my life issues. And I am telling you this because this is things that I have tested and are working. That's why I am I'm telling you all this. That's why I am sharing my, my experience with you. That's why I'm giving you this live video. You're going to, you can do it. When you believe yourself, when you believe in yourself, with that kind of right belief, a belief that is positive, when you build all your thinkings on tackling your giant, with positive mental attitude when you envelop everything that goes on in your mind on positive mental attitude when you become positive enough about whatever you're facing and when you are convinced that you're going to defeat this gi giant something unusual will happen to you that you may not take note of it but it will occur and you will realize it you will start immediately Building that kind of desire to overcome. That kind of desire that becomes an obsession. Obsession that no, no failure. Every time I explain to you this obsession, this desire that have turned into obsession, you cannot tell me that there is nothing you're not facing now. You can be my witness. All these years, many times you have faced one thing or the other. Many times you have faced with a huge giant before you. And you think all sorts of negative things. You, you become anxious. Anxiety becomes the order of the day. Fear your, your becomes your closest neighbor. Ask yourself, what have you been able to achieve in all this? After all this thinking, after all these anxieties, what will be still will be what will happen still will happen now don't you think is the right time don't you think it's right time to face it
Don't you think it's right time to make a change? My brother, my sister, as you're watching me right now, change your attitude towards facing your daily affairs. Change your attitude towards facing your giant. Convert your mental attitude into a positive mental attitude. There is no problems that comes to you that have never come to any man live or have lived on earth. Whatever you see that is facing you today has faced a lot of people before. Your own is not different and is not new at all. And all these people overcome. Most of them fell the most overcome when you take your time to talk to people that always overcome their giants if you ask them what is their secret they, they will tell you mindset I believe in myself that I can do it I believe I can overcome and I actually overcome how does this mindset work how do you develop this mindset? How do you build a positive mental attitude? I told you before that all these things is in your head. They work in you. The two components in you that works and affects everything that happens in your life is your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. Your Conscious, the your nature of consciousness and your nature of subconsciousness. Your conscious nature, that is your nature of consciousness, is those things you know. You want to do them. You like them. You see them. You think about them. And you like them. And you decided to do them. These things are conscious because you are the one that wants to do them. Subconscious is those ones beyond your mind, beyond your conscious. You don't want to do them, but they do themselves in your life. But you cause them and you didn't take notice of causing them. You said to yourself, I never want a thing like this to happen to me. I never want to see a thing like this in my life. But it's happening. Yes, it is happening. Because it's happened through the message your subconscious person passed into the infinite mercy, infinite intelligence. Or into the mother nature. And you didn't take note of it. And these are things you consciously think about. For your life to be perfect, you have to take control of what you think every moment about your life. For your life to work the way you want them, you have to take absolutely control of whatever you, you, you think in your mind. If you can be able to cage your mindset, if you can be able to cage your, your own thinking, such that they become positive all such that you, you you will be able to eliminate anything negative from them then i tell you life will be as easy as abc for you what is going on in your mind every moment matters in your life what you think in your mind every moment, good or bad, matters a lot on your life. And things that happens to your life, those things that normally happen to you, those things that overcome you, those losses, those bad things you normally see happen to you. And you say to yourself, I never wish this to happen to me. They are directly caused by you. But you didn't take note of it because you allow your mind to be careless. You allow your mind to be thinking any sort of things. You think a lot of things without taking cognizance of what you're thinking about. This is wrong. And this is a wrong 
where of living life if you're going to be an achiever if you wish to achieve great success if you wish to be rich you have to take control and take absolutely charge of your mind your mindset matters a lot what you think matters a lot now let me break it down for you to see what happened when you keep on thinking about something negative in your mind and you allow this thing going on through your mind maybe you believe this may happen to you sometimes you say no i don't mean it i just think, thought about it no nothing goes on in your mind that is useless remember you have subconscious mind which is waiting anxiously and readily to pick messages from your mind from your conscious mind so whatever you think whatever that is going on in your mind especially those ones that repeat themselves are actually going to pick up by your subconscious mind and when your subconscious mind pick it up you don't longer have control over it and translate it to its material equivalent transfer the message to mother nature then the mother nature gives you back the answer you're seeking and it happened that is what you call misfortune ill luck or bad luck these things doesn't exist unless you call for them i can stand and testify it anywhere do your research very well ill luck bad luck misfortune they don't exist except you call for them how do you call for them you are about to do a business you order for a container or maybe you order for any sort of merchandise and the moment you place the order and pay you started thinking maybe this particular merchandise won't arrive safely when you're building this mindset you're calling for trouble the earlier you kill this mindset i always tell my audience that you, you can change your mindset by translating exactly the negative the, the negative thought in your mind into the positive one exactly the positive one make it exactly opposite and it works when you keep thinking negative about this oh i ordered for these goods and i don't think if they are going to arrive safely oh they say there is too much problem on the sea now oh they say robbers are many everywhere who knows maybe i'm going to lose this money i'm going to lose my merchandise when you keep thinking about this surely let me tell you the truth this is how god created us your subconscious mind is going to pick this message it is pure it is certain and when your subconscious mind pick this message and translate it into its material equivalent there is trouble that is when you hear yourself saying i said it this thing was coming into my mind that is going to happen now it's happened you can testify with me that a lot of bad things that happen to you you normally come to conclusion that you think about them some say no i have the vision i i, I it comes into my mind oh when next time something comes into my mind i'm going to avoid it my brother you're not going to avoid anything you cannot avoid anything the only thing you have to do is to control your mindset and what you're thinking in your mind at every moment that is where to start don't allow the negative thinkings in your mind to get your subconscious mind when you allow them to get your subconscious mind it's already too late you're going to kill all those negative thoughts immediately they come into your mind don't allow them to rest in your mind for even a second that is my humbly advice to you what 
I'm doing here is not reading a book to you or giving you the knowledge I have acquired from the university or what. I am sharing with you a practical life experience. What I know, what is certain and pure, don't dwell on positive thinking. Change your thoughts. How do you face your giant? You face your giant from changing your mindset the moment you see your giant. The moment there is a giant standing before you, weigh your giant, know its weight, know its capability, know what it's capable of doing, and face it squarely. I bet you you're going to overcome, and you must overcome. And you're facing your giant with that mindset. That mindset that says, I have overcome. This is nothing. This will pass away. It's a history. No matter what I'm telling you, you can reverse anything with your mindset. Even those things you think that are not possible. Those ones you think that, no, it's too late. Nothing is too late to be reversed. As far as positive mental attitude is concerned. As long as you are willing to reverse them. If you're willing to reverse them, you have it. How do you face your giant? Are you among those people that when they face a particular problem, they start running around telling people? On my own opinion, you don't, have, you, you don't actually have to share your problem with people. Forget about the matter that says a problem shared is problem half solved. You share your problem with your partners. Your mastermind group. And your partners have to be people with positive mental attitude too. Otherwise, I will advise you to keep your problems for yourself and share it in your mind. Now, you begin and you, you begin to scrap for solution. How do you do that? Start thinking positive about, about that particular problem. That thing you're facing right now, start thinking positive about it. What is positive? Oh, I have overcome. Repeat it in your mind. I have overcome. It's a history. It's over. Make sure that every second that this is going on in your mind, you're facing a giant. It looks as if this giant is more than you. Now, in your mind, you build a unique mindset. You put one word in your mind. One sentence that is unique in your mind. I have overcome. This will not last. This is a history. And you keep allowing this particular mindset to ring in your mind over and over and over as the clock ticks by seconds this is ringing in your mind do you know what happened your subconscious mind will subconsciously your subconscious mind will unconsciously pick this message that you have overcome this particular giant of yours and pass this message or, and convert this message to its material equivalent while passing it to the mother nation the result you receive is overcoming it will happen as a magic. You won't believe it. You will see it being over. You will be called, Oh, Mr. Patrick, that problem is over. That law case, the person that sued you to court has called off the case. Government has asked you to come and take your container without paying. This is when you start hearing messages like this. The person that has run away with your money called you by himself. Give me your bank account. Let me pay your money in. This is the kind of news you start receiving. This is the kind of news we receive when we are positive thinkers. When we are people that live by positive mental attitude. This is the kind of things and kind of news we receive. And this is the kind of news I want you to keep receiving us from today. As you're hearing my voice. I want to use this opportunity to apologize to you for my poor video. From the view, the video is not that clear. But I know that my voice is clear. You can hear me very well. Forget about the video and listen to my voice. 
my voice is very important more important than the video you're seeing my brothers what is your giant and how do you face your giant while facing your giant what is your mindset how do you see your giant what is even your giant do you even have a giant everybody have a giant but our giant differs your own giants may not be a giant to me while my own giant may be a killer to you or may not even be a giant to you whatever you feel or whatever that looks to you initially as being more than you is your giant and i told you right here that all this can be passed through there is no amount of problem on this earth that is impossible to be solved mark my word there is no amount of problem on this earth that is impossible to be solved the only thing that is impossible to be solved is death as long as you are alive even sickness that can lead to death is not impossible to overcome when you have that kind of mindset that be, that kind of body desire that become an obsession and that kind of desire that no no failure you can overcome that sickness don't mind about what your doctor told you told you recently what is your medical certificate saying about what is your medical report saying about you don't have to care about all these things whatever they're saying about when you believe in yourself when you believe in your ability of overcoming you will overcome and you will have it once again i thank you so much for watching me live this morning my friends and fans who find their time to follow my live video kudos to you we are doing our best to give you our best we hope that on this platform we impact greatly in your life we hope you learn a lot from us we hope that whatever we are giving up through this medium is of great importance to you take your time and listen to these live videos you will learn something no knowledge is waste don't care about the person giving you the message you may know him as a commoner but the message he has is not a common message yes i may be shas patrick as you know that is me but i'm another person when it comes to motivational species recommend us to our friends recommend our live videos to your friends we might be of help people have problems and they get anxious they become the anxiety become the order of the day anxiety that even lead to depression depression that can lead to mental problems or even death if you watch my video and i have encouraged you do like my video do invite your friends to like my page and to watch my live videos we are doing everything possible we are spending money in all angle to make sure that this program is getting to the look and crane of and all corners of the world to every person that may need it the ev to every person that we might be of help to we are doing everything spending money to get better day by day we are looking up for a good broadcasting outfit that will enable us to give you a very clear video and a very clear audio digital and top one top quality that can even goes with write-ups we are working on to these things and we're looking forward and we believe that we shall be there and you can support us in any way 
you can support us morally your advice is welcomed you can correct me you can support me morally you can advise me you can even suggest to me our platform for support is open you can call my line direct to air your support or your view you can click on the page message now and you send me email and air your view about my live videos make any corrections you want make any suggestion you want to me is all welcomed we want to be better and better every day of course we believe we are going to be better i believe in myself that's why i'm standing here live before you you can assist us financially yes if your money helps us to get this message across to people thousands and millions of people that need it why not your money is not a waste you can assist us on how to assist us contact us click on the on on the on my page message now and contact me through my email address then i will tell you on how to do that we are asking of all these things because we want to get better my viewers all over the world we are happy and we are grateful that we are here with you you're watching us live now and it's our greatest wish to improve more on what we teach you thank you for watching us but don't forget the today's topic how do you face your giant take this keyword home you face your giant squarely and mercilessly when you are able to build that mindset that prompt desire that has become an obsession that knows no failure when your desire to overcome your giant becomes an obsession and recognizes no, no failure, your giant is a history. You have overcome. Thank you for watching me. By special grace of God, I will always be live here to share my God-given knowledge to you. This knowledge I'm sharing with you is not acquired by education. It's natural in me. I grew up to discover myself that I'm a motivator. I decided to take up this mission on myself. Being your motivational speaker. I speak to you today. Be motivated. Be inspired. Nothing is impossible to achieve. And no problem is impossible to overcome. You can actually overcome the giant. Thank you. And God bless you.